Bonjour tout le monde. Aujourd'hui, on va parler des verbes pronominaux. Pronominaux, qu'est-ce que c'est? Reflexive verbs. Um, Decoration of Inu, Inuel, Gesseltam, Pon, Bunimini, Sojas, Berla, Ico, Ratio. Rod, Diffrul, Nock, Rev, Dainta, No, Nock, Rev, Fecta, Agwin, Kfo. So, what is a reflexive verb? That's what we're going to be looking at today. Um, and also, the topic that we're going to be looking at is being able to describe your morning routine. And you'll see as we go on that these verbs are used very commonly for that. So, uh, some verbs in French are reflexive. This means that the subject and the object of the verb are the same person or thing. So, if you go back, if you think back to when we started looking at verbs in first year, I told you about the subject and the object. And I would have given you a sentence like this. So Tom kicked Kean. And if you remember, we had two things, two new grammar terms that we looked at in that sentence. Tom kicked Kean. We have the subject and the object. Now, if you can think back to it, and the difference between those two things, I'm sure you'll remember that um, Tom, we said, was the subject. And Kean was the object. So what do they mean? The subject is the person or thing that res that is performing the action. And the action here, the verb, is to kick or kicked. So Tom kicked Keen. Tom is the person who's performing the action. Keen is the person who's receiving the action. So therefore we call Tom the subject and we call Keen the object. So when we have a look at reflexive verbs then, we're saying that the subject and the object are the same person or thing. And we've seen reflexive verbs before. The very first one we would have came across was when we looked at the expression je m'appelle Jean. Je m'appelle Jean. And we would have learned that that means my name is John, but more correctly in French, you're actually saying I call myself John. So I call myself John. And um, you can see there that I is the subject, but also myself is the object of the verb. So, you know, when we talk about reflexive, a reflex is an action that, you know, comes back in on itself. So it's the same kind of theory here with, um, with reflexive verbs. So here the subject I and the object myself are the same person. So how can we tell if a verb is reflexive? Because remember, remember we don't have this in English. Um, we can easily recognize a reflexive verb as it will always be preceded by the reflexive pronoun s or s apostrophe in front of a vowel. So if you have a look at the verb there, laver. Laver is a normal uh, verb. You'll know from looking at it that it's an er verb in French. So nothing different about that. But the verb se laver is reflexive. So what's the difference between laver and se laver? Well, laver means to wash, and se laver, to wash oneself, reflexive, okay? Um, another example there, s'amuser, to enjoy oneself, another reflexive verb there, because it has that idea of, you know, you're doing the action to yourself. Um, so the important thing there again is, you know, to be being able to identify these verbs in French is that you're looking out for that pronominal okay that um pronoun the reflexive pronoun se or s apostrophe so lave no se not reflexive se lave there's the se we can call that reflexive samuse and i just picked that one to show you that you know you're well used to this now in french that um this idea that two vowels if they meet you need to drop the first and put in an apostrophe so just to be aware of that. Most reflexive verbs are regular ER verbs. The only difference is that we need to make the reflexive pronoun agree with the subject. Okay, so before I go on to that, I just want to make sure that you understood um, what we've looked at so far. Okay, so here we have a list of verbs. Um, I want you to have go through them and I want you to try and think which ones there you would call reflexive. So pause the video and write down in your copy the ones that you think are reflexive. 
Okay, so we'll see ventre. Is ventre reflexive? No. Perdre? No. Se demander. Se demander is reflexive. Why? Because we have we see the se in front of it. Finir? Reflexive? No. S'appeler? Yes. Why? Because the se, the s apostrophe, is in front of it. Parler? Not reflexive. Se réveiller? Reflexive. Why? Because we have the se in front of it. So if you, it's a really important thing to be able to identify these now. Um, so the main message here is that if the verb has one of those se or s apostrophe in front of it, we call it reflexive. In French, c'est un verbe pronominal. Okay, so once you can identify reflexive verbs in French, the next thing we have to look at is, well, how can we actually use them? So the first thing to note is that most reflexive verbs are regular EOR verbs that we would have looked at at the start of first year. The only difference is that we need to make the reflexive pronoun, that new thing that we've seen today, the se or the s apostrophe, agree with the subject. So if we have a look here at the verb se laver, and remember se laver means to wash oneself or to clean oneself, um, you'll see that the se has to change when you start using it in a tense. And remember, um, we have a word for that in, um, when we're in grammar. When we're putting a verb into a tense, we call it conjugating. So when we're conjugating this verb, su lave, into the present tense here, like I've done below, this su has to change to make it agree with the je, tu, il, nous, vous, il. So what happens? It becomes je me. The se changes to me. So je me to te. The se changes to, to te here. Okay. So je me to te. Il se stays the same. Then goes to nu nu, vu vu, il se. Je me to te, il se. Nu nu, vu vu, il se. If you can learn it off like that, you'll have no problem. Je me, tu te, il se, nu nu, vu vu, il se. So that's the first part of the verb. And remember for the last part of the verb I said that this is very much like what you've been used to since first year. It's an eor verb. How do we conjugate eor verbs into the present tense? We drop the eor. And we add e, es, e, ones, ez, ent. E, es, e, ones, ez, ent. So je me, tu te, il se, nu, nu, vu, vu, il se. And the endings e, es, e, ones, ez, ent. So ta garod le dena von sho. Nu or tamin jik fake and share in a brief um, reflex of. Kaimuj on Dorod Shot Ayena. On Kedrod, no, Kaimuj Ahru on Sir, Guji, je me, tu te, il se, nu nu vu il se. On Dorod, Kaimuj Fos on Quij Dernock of Winch, August Kerr Rash on Kem Kart, Igor and Amshur Lightrock. So E, E, S, E, O, N, S, E, Z, E, N, T. So when you put it together, what have you? You've got je, me, Lave, je me lave, tu te laves, il se lave, nous nous lavons, vous vous lavez, il se lave. Don't forget that, that ENT is silent in French. Now I talked to you before um, at the start of the class um, saying that the, you know, the topic we're going to be looking at here with these verbs is ma routine. And you'll see why an awful lot of these verbs here um are reflexive when you're discussing what you do every morning so we'll go through them se réveiller to wake up se réveiller se lever to get up se doucher to take a shower se laver le visage se laver le visage to wash one's face se brosser les dents 
se brosser les dents du brush one's teeth ou bien se brosser les cheveux to brush one's hair. S'habiller, to get dressed. Se reposer, to rest oneself. Se détendre, to relax. Se coucher, to go to bed. S'amuser, to enjoy oneself. S'appeler, to call oneself or to be called. And se demander, to wonder or to ask oneself. What I wanted to, to do now is I wanted to put this into practice. So, Kai Shiv Esho Aklakta, Iver Goblar Bioganish. So, Togi Gimak for Goblar Biog, Thomas Kung Ga Breher Aklakta Nish. On K Kaun, no, on Breher Se Duche, Se Duche, Kung K Ahoga. Agasati Kun Eshin Akur, it's an Amshur Loyrok. No, I didn't dare to say that I Je tu il. Nu. Vu. Il. Agus an darod. An dar keun. An brihar. Samuse. Samuse. Uh, to enjoy oneself. So, agus an rod keun an show. Je. Tu, il, nu, vu, il. So, where I live in ish, that's if you can't ish in a shkwiv mak if we're going to play a bjog, agus kur an fishan er paws and shin, an ish. Okay, so kur minj um, tu slash ta ga ahru le denuf um, an ke kaun, su. So, Kind of Jason uh, Ahru, uh, on a school she um, like ain't too less on je tu il nouveau il. So Marador Marhana Fain, it becomes je me tu te il se nu nu vu vu il se. August and Shane on Dara uh, Ahru taught a damn it. No, con on Breher Shane on Breher Eor, a curse and I'm sure Lloyd Rock. So, Eor verb, when on Eor, I was shin on stem, so on Freyv, Shreve Shin, Gakal Or, August Lesh on Freyv, Tata Kunan Quij Jerna Kerker Arash. So, Je me douche, E, E S, Tu te douche, Il se douche, E, Nunu douchon, O N S, Vous vous douche, E Z, Il se douche, E N T. August Kerz Brilo, Je me douche. I'm taking a shower. Or I take a shower. Not in Dharma Fishin, but in Fear Tabata. Ivrankish. August in Merida. Go will go, I'm sure, like a in Merida. So we have two present tenses that you're probably going to, you know, when you're trying to translate into French, um, this is where we end up seeing mistakes being made. When students are trying to translate, I'm doing something, and they'll say, je suis, and something else, which is wrong. Remember, there's only one present tense in French, le présent, and it's used to translate both. I'm doing something right now, and I do something every day. I'm taking a shower, I take a shower. Tu te douche, il se douche, nous nous douchons, vous vous douchez, il se douche. So on dar account, um, just pisa nice Difrula Tishkwishe, there are two scutta and show. So a reach kaimwij on s um so ahru on a school shake ain't too lesson sure to eel. So it becomes a reach. Je me tu te il se nu nu vu vu il se. 
Now on to the second um, step. Again, er verb. Knock off the er and we're left with our frave, our root. So we're going to write that down. Next step again, your endings. E, yes, E, O and S, E, Z, E, N, T. But there's a problem. Try and spot the problem. Cade and five. So you might have noticed the problem here being that we cannot have two vowels meeting together in French. The je, me, amuse doesn't work. So what happens? We knock out the first one. And we put in an apostrophe. So if you didn't get that right, I want you to go back to your answers here now and correct that in the other ones. So we're going to try that again, but this time thinking about the fact that it starts with a vowel. So should it be, do we write out full or do we put in an apostrophe? Well, we did this one already. So je, mamuse, two vowels meeting. Two, tamus, il, samus. Now, nous, nous amusons. There is not two vowels meeting here because this one ends in an S. Therefore, we don't need to do anything. Next, vous, vous amusez. Again, ends in S. No problem there in terms of vowels. The last one, il s'amuse. Il s'amuse. What do they mean? Je m'amuse. I am enjoying myself. Tu t'amuse. You are enjoying yourself. Il s'amuse. He is enjoying himself. Or he enjoys himself. Um, so, chene. Okay. So, on one note, the um, gog gneiv le of on chin. So, you're going to read Miriam's account of a typical school day and fill in the missing verb or reflexive pronoun in each sentence. Um and just use your notes to help you so take a few minutes to get that one done and the next one and then you can pause this now and then come back and we'll correct okay so first one there je me réveille i wake up je me réveille à sept heures et demi i wake up at half past seven next one number two je je me lève à huit heures i get up at eight o'clock um, so leve slightly irregular just in that when you put it into the present tense it gets an accent je me lève accent grave toi je me lave dans la salle de bain quatre je je me brosse les dents I brush my teeth cinq je Je m'habille. I get dressed. Je m'habille. The verb to get dressed. S'habiller. To get dressed. Okay, and the last one. Je me. Je me couche. À 10 heures et quart. Um, I go to bed at quarter past ten. So the verb se coucher. To go to bed. Right, second exercise, fit de pair. The Hervé family is on holiday in Provence with their cousins. They are staying in a large country house. Can you see what each of them is doing? Put the number of the correct description in each box on the picture. The first one is done for you. So one, Louis se réveille. Louis wakes up. And there we have um, one written there. Okay. Deux, Lucien s'habille. S'habille. Lucien s'habille, c'est là. Right, he's getting dressed. Toi, Kevin s'amuse. Kevin s'amuse. Je dirais, toi, là. Pourquoi? Because he's, he's enjoying himself. Kevin. Ok, quatre. Maman se repose. Maman se repose. Maman's resting. So, four. Five. Cinq. Marine se lève. Marine se lève. So Marine is 
getting up. So, thank Marine se lève. Six, Laure se brosse les dents. Laure se brosse les dents. Alors, elle se brosse les dents là, ça c'est Laure. Sept, papa se couche. Papa se couche. Alors, papa, il est là, donc il se couche. He's going to bed. Et huit, Damien se douche. Damien se douche. Alors, Damien, il est là, il se douche. He's having a shower. Ok, so merci bien pour tout ça. J'espère que c'est plus clair. I hope it's a bit more clear now about what a reflexive verb is. So remember, what is a reflexive verb? A reflexive verb is a verb that has the same subject and object. Je m'appelle Jean. I call myself John. How can we tell if a verb is reflexive in French? We can tell because we know to look out for that s or s apostrophe the reflexive pronoun in front of it in the infinitive. And remember, we had a look at all these lists of verbs here and we were able to identify the reflexive ones. And the next thing you had to look at then was how to put these verbs into the present tense. And we said it was fairly simple. Same thing with the ER verbs. Um, you follow the same rules there. Um, but the only difference is that the se has to agree with the je and the tu. So you learn off that it's je me, tu te, il se, nous, nous, vous, vous, il se, and you won't make a mistake. And then the last thing we looked at there was we had a list of verbs there. We're, talk we're talking about ma routine, my routine, um, and you're going to learn those for me for tonight. Now, I guess she's a shin, you guys. Um, thank you, Mishiv. I'm working.